Well, here we go with a very exciting encounter here, the first tie break for first prize of the Gibraltar Congress. And we're going straight into the action with Nigel Short playing the Grand Prix. What a result that is. And I have to say this position is already very good for Nigel. Um, if you know the Dutch defence, you'll know this position. It's um, a reverse Dutch. Black has double C pawns. And uh, Nigel has a typical attacking plan of bringing the queen around to h4 and playing f5 with a monstrous attack. I like Nigel's opening choice, and he's just had a swig of water. And we already know in a commentary room, whenever Nigel has a swig of water, it means he has a good position. And um, he's had a big swig there. And already Black is thinking, I like Nigel's position, but this is a real clash now. A big clash between the two players who have played the best chess in this tournament. Nigel's worst result here is coming second. And of course, um, uh, Hose is, is playing an amazing chess so far, so there we go, Queen E1. I can play these moves automatically for you if you want me to. <laughs> We're going to go Queen H4, F5, I can't play the moves on the board, Bishop H6, Knight G5, checkmate. So that is, that is the basic plan. If that doesn't work, we're going to try to hit the doubled C pawns. But anyway, quick and fast. What is the time control, Macaulay, here? I don't even know. <laughs> so maybe they have 10 minutes plus um, five seconds of move, possibly, something along those lines. We, we don't know. I don't, OK, but the water's coming quick and fast. Look at that bottle of water. Or is it vodka? That is question number two. Maybe he's sneakily having a bottle of vodka there because, oh, a bit of pressure. The interesting thing about this is the psychological body language here. I mean, well, well they're both intensely concentrating here. And I do have to say, there's a recent game played at Wei Z and Topolov lost his position with the black pieces against Karyakin. And uh, Knight C6, I'm not sure about this move earlier on in the opening, allowing white to play bishop takes c6 and get a very comfortable position. And the straightforward plan here, queen h4, f5, bishop h6, I'll say it again. It's a very easy plan for white to play. And okay, maybe f5 here is possible. Knight d7, okay, that's a good prophylactic move because when we go queen to h4, Black can play some e6 move, and a queen exchange means that checkmate will be a lot harder to arrange. So now positional play has taken over. b3, playing against the c-pawns. These weak c-pawns on c6 and c5. We don't need to checkmate. We can prolong this game with some nice manoeuvres. Maybe bishop b2, knight to a4, get rid of the dark square bishops, and then checkmate black. I have to say, I think Nigel's played a very clever opening here. Uh, obviously, um, Ho hasn't had much time to prepare this game. She's only had half an hour because of the delay of the Bodigan game. So neither side has much time to use their computers, to look at the computers, to see what's going on. So I, I, I think this probably favours Nigel because, um, well, OK, he, he's been in the room, he's been watching the cricket, the tennis. He doesn't like repairing too much, he likes saving his energy. So I think the lack of preparation must favour Nigel. F5, well, OK. That is, that, oh, I, I'm definitely going to go. OK, the time limit is 10 minutes each player plus five seconds of move. So that's quite quick. And now two options here. Do we take on e5 or do we plow on with pawn to f5? Both very viable options. Nigel has a slight edge here with a double c pawns. And, uh, well, Nigel hasn't had a swig of water recently. Is that a bad sign or is that a good sign? In the meantime, I'm going to drink some wine. <laughs> okay, there are bonuses to being a presenter at Gibraltar, and this is one of the bonuses. We have a packed house here in the room, and um, Stuart Conquest is ready to lurk. Come on, Stuart. You haven't taken. Come on, Stuart. We've got to have Stuart take over. Stuart's take been. Over. Just join you. Well, join Stuart's you. been bogged down. Join you. With um, I mean, you've been bogged down with a tournament. Now you can relax and watch this game. What do you reckon? There's not Stuart? much relaxing about this, is there? There's nothing it's relaxing. Nice. It's quite a lot of money they're playing for, and we have we have to note here in this tournament the difference between winning this and losing this is eight thousand pounds. About as much money as I lost last night down the casino, but um, no, no, not really. I'm only joking. So it's a, it's a big difference between first and second. So I quite like Nigel's position here. 
Yeah, absolutely. Grand Prix Attack or something like that, we call it, would we? And someone's done a great DVD on this. Do you know who it is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just to throw that in there. Sure. I, I think Gwen James was it? Who's okay. the master of this opening? Absolutely, yeah. Did a very good one for Jin Jim. And you're going to do one for us, aren't you soon? I'm looking sure. at that. I'm you're looking, looking at it. it. Okay. Yeah, looking at it, anyway, yeah. into the game. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel, oh, what, what will Nigel play now? What do you reckon? F5 will take on E5. I guess one of these moves is, is uh, the, next, the next option from White. I mean, we could just plow on with F5. Oh, no, he hasn't played that yet. Has he played that? He, he has played it. Oh, I actually just played that. He has played it anyway. Let's hope the move comes up on the screen, otherwise we're in trouble in the commentary room. So I think he's played F5. Yeah. It looks like he's played pawn to F5. Is she going to take it? Is she going to take it? Or? I think taking's kind of suicidal here really, because yeah? you're going to get checkmated again. I mean, let's have a look. Takes, takes, and we're going to get our pieces flying over towards the Black King here. Uh, Queen G3 is coming in. Bishop H6, checkmate. Um, <laughs> I keep saying that idea. Um, F5, I think mean, it looks dangerous. It does. Okay, I mean, okay, but what else can she do? Uh, phew, that's a good question. I mean, uh, Nigel can also play some uh, maybe idea with Knight to C4. Just play it positional. Um, I mean, this is the kind of position I think Nigel will be extremely happy in. Mm. With uh, you know, with this maybe double. She maybe she will go D5. Maybe she yeah. She yeah. probably has to play something like D5. And um, still, this is very similar to classical Dutch. Very, very similar to, you know. Um, do we throw something into G5 or do we bring our guys out? Queen G3, maybe. Some idea like this is possible. But F5, um, okay, well, black is considering the move. Not too much time to consider this, though. And is it an advantage to have white in the first game? Well, well she drew white, you know, so there was no choice. She drew white. Um, okay, right, so. So if yeah, Nigel wins this one, ball. she has to win the next game. That's right, yeah. And, um, well, that's, you know, pressure with the white pieces on that one. I'm not saying Nigel will win this one, but um, if he does, everyone should buy the Ginger GM DVD. <laughs> um, okay, so considering the move there. Okay, so if, if she takes an F5, he takes back, she plays D5. What happens then? Okay, so let's say takes, takes, pawn to D5. Big center against attack on the king side. So maybe we bring our guys out. Um, uh, oh. Oh, knight to h4, oh, mm, okay, mm. not even taking the pawn. This is aggressive play from Nigel. We like this. <laughs> has this happened? This has happened. This has yeah, happened. This is really? happened. Really? Wow. This is the current position Fantastic. in the game. Fantastic. Oh, dear. Well, if people don't buy my DVDs back there, then you never will. Okay, so knight to f5, probably the mood to play. G3. G3, okay, open up another line. Wow. It's, Nigel loves the King's Gambit. Sure, it's absolutely. kind of this King's Gambit. This is looking really good. I mean, he must be happy at this position. Yeah, very happy. I mean, uh, I think this opening choice has been inspired actually by playing the Grand Prix Bishop B5. Um, and um, well, okay, let's say we take this pawn, um, just for example, and then Queen takes, I guess even. Oh dear. Oh dear. This this could be curtains hmm. with this G file. Knight coming to F5. Oh, this, this uh, is all it's, over. it's all over. So after g3, I don't think you can capture this pawn. Bishop f6, knight f5 has got to be played here, surely. I'm sure it'll play, be played quickly as well. Um, has been it's played. been played. Okay, knight, knight to f5 has been played. Knight b6 immediately. Knight, knight b6. b6 immediately. Okay, here we go. And um, well, okay, you'd like to keep hold of this knight, so um, I was going to recommend queen to h5, but that's illegal. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Can we go knight to h6? Knight check and two takes f4, maybe, yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's have a quick look. Knight check, king g7, and now pawn takes f4. And if the king takes the knight, well, rook to g1 is, or something similar, I don't know. I mean, uh, or take on e5 and check. Uh, or take on e5 and check and just take the bishop, say, so, okay, knight to b6. I think Nigel's probably in charge at the moment. So after mm -hmm. knight h6, I mean, probably king h8, king h8 is sure. sensible. And now we just take on f4, yeah. Open up things. I mean, like, looks let's terrible. open up. It looks, it looks really horrible. Bad. It looks horrible. Well, I know Nigel. I gave him a free copy of the DVD earlier on in tournament. <laughs> he obviously spent the whole morning the other day watching this DVD, and um, I'm sure there's some. I, I'm sure I get a percentage of his winnings if he if he does win. With Is that opening. here in Gibraltar? You gave it to him, did you? No, I'm just lying. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I hear you. But um, I'm sure he's brought a copy himself. <laughs> and um, you know, uh, but G takes F4. Uh, I mean, this is a potential position, and it looks disgusting. I mean, it. Okay, what that, what has happened there? Let's Knight B6. G takes F4 immediately. Okay, Bishop takes F5. F takes E5. Nice. nice. Wow, that is nice. That that's. I mean, just simple chess. Mm -hmm. Very simple. 
very simple moves. And um, okay, I mean, uh, whew, what's going on? Okay, someone's recommended Bishop H4. Bishop H4. Is, is this uh, is this possible? Well, we can go Bishop H6 if we want to. Queens on, Queens on, sorry. Yeah, I don't oh, mind about these things, you know. Beautiful. Oh, well, then the oh, bishop no. goes take, back to G6. Bishop takes D5. Okay. Okay, so simple. Bishop takes, Rook takes F5. Um, I'm not sure if this is, I don't know. I mean, King, King H8, there's no checkmate anymore. King H8 mm -hmm. being played. And um, the bishop on E5 is a bit of a monster. Maybe he could have done that differently, I didn't he? Yeah, I, I, think, I think this is... Still good for white. It's probably still good, yeah. I mean... Um, Okay, I mean, it, a nice pawn structure for white. And um, okay, uh, if we can get rid of the dark squared bishops here somewhere, then we're doing very well. So if we can change these guys off, I mm -hmm. guess that's the way to go. Just get rid of these dark squared bishops and then uh, play some chess. But um, I mean, the time situation, and we can't actually see the time here, but um, I mean, a couple of moves time is going to come fast and furious. Um, both played brilliant tournament though, haven't they? Oh, fantastic, I mean, it's fantastic. <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Abs yeah, I mean, Nigel in Gibraltar is just incredible. Why is he so good in Gibraltar? He, even he doesn't know. I he can't explain it. I mean, if he played like this all the time, he could be world champion Absolute, again. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. So, Bishop F4. Okay, so he's gone for the exchange of dark square bishops. Nice positional chess. If all the pieces come off, then um, you still have this clump of pawns over here. And this knight is D7. She's got a knight. Okay, knight okay, D7. Good, good, good. Queen D2 immediately. Sure. Immediately played. And now the other rook's coming into play. We just go rook to f1 at some point. Nigel's in control, completely totally. in control. Totally. And uh, you can't move the rook to g8 because f7 does drop. Um, so yeah, this is this is lovely. Nigel's got exactly what he'd like to get. Pawn weaknesses, potential checkmate, checkmate plan. And um, ahead on the clock, I guess. I, he's probably up, well up on the mm. clock here. So yeah, I mean, has Nigel ever won Gibraltar, Stuart? He's won it twice. Okay. The he's first won it two, twice. the first two, his first equal and first time. Okay, race. so he's going for the and hat he's trick. He's never done worse and come second. Okay, right. He's never done I know. worse. Okay. It's, it's unbelievable. You know? It's his tournament, it isn't is, it? Really? Absolutely. Gibraltar absolutely. is Nigel's tournament. But okay, I mean, Ho's played so strong. She's played um, an yeah. amazingly good chess that throughout the tournament. I mean, she deserves to. You know, I'm um, okay. She's had a great tournament, and what can I mean? The other game will be interesting with this. She's phenomenal. Well, it's not over. It's not over. It's not over. It's never over in blitz chess. And um, okay, Queen here four. comes the counter attack. Um, well, you c well, one one thing I learned as a junior is you cannot checkmate your opponent's king just with your queen. And um, at the moment in time, it looks like only a queen is attacking. Let's say we go rook f1. Uh, simple move, simple chess. Increase the pre pressure. Get rid of the dark square bishop. But then the knight does come to e5. Mm -hmm. Good square for the knight. Mm -hmm. And then she had two pieces attacking. <laughs> So, I don't know. Okay. I mean, um, queen to h4 is the current position. Rook f1. Rook f1 has been okay. played. Okay. And, uh, right. Uh, Maybe something like f6 and rook g8. Trying to get the fortress on. Mm -hmm. Okay. f6. Keep this e5 square. And now, do we. This knight's not doing anything. Do we go knight to e2, maybe? Try to bring it around. Yeah, and then Bring it around the angles, yeah. Okay, then rook g8, and uh, okay, yeah, so um, let's have a look at this f6 move. After f6 is a... Uh, it's not quite as bad as it looks, It's in not, it? it's not, actually, okay, rook, rook e8. Eight, okay. The thing is, I, f I guess black's got hold of the e5 square, sure. and that's very important here. Um, bad pawn structure, but if you can hold this square, if you can get your knight to e5, you do have, you know, you've got good pieces, or good knight on e5. On the other hand, um, White doesn't really have any weaknesses here. Whether where the maybe the knight can eventually even get around to f5. That's another another idea. Knight d1 to e3. Possible. What about bishop g5 here, so? Okay, bishop g5. Yeah, that's interesting. Very interesting, actually. Yeah. Okay, where's the queen oh, going? Mm, to know. Well, good question. <laughs> <laughs> when? Wow. Knight okay, knight d2 is being played. Okay, so the knight brings comes around. Bishop g5 was a possibility, though. But there's no rush to play this bishop g5 because rook g8 we take on f7. Mm. Well, I still want to play f6, you see, but yeah, I think you have to play f6 here. Well, I think it's clear Nigel is still got the edge here, mm. and um, big edge. You I can't. Mean, you're not trying bishop g5 anymore because of h2. Okay. Rook, rook e6 maybe. Rook e6. Rook e6 and counter attack. Okay, interesting. But d does the knight come to g3 with rook h5 ideas? A uh, rook, rook g8. Mm. I said that's not possible. But hang on a minute. Black's trying to attack as well. So if rook f7, queen h3? I guess rook f7, we, we uh, have some fun of our set. Yeah, here, I mean, bishop g3? 
Where's your counterplay? Okay, that loses a piece. Okay, so Queen eight. Is there any way to defend? Oh, this has been played. This has actually this been played. Helped. Rook F2. Okay, Bishop takes Bishop. Oh, then the Rook's on pre. Okay, Knight G3. Knight G3, Knight G3. Simon Ansel, sure. good suggestion. Knight, keep it all solid. Um, okay. Uh, okay, Rook, Rook takes Rook Knight. Takes what, happens? Yeah, what happens? What does happen here? Do we just take calmly on G3? Uh, well, even, yeah. Queen G2. Queen G2 with two pieces on pre. Okay, lovely idea from Simon Ansel suggested there. After Queen to G2, I think um, this should be winning for White. I mean, is this a desperation punt, this, uh, this yeah, Rook G8? Really it's a pretty grim position, so. Um, so is Knight G taken on F7? He, uh, okay, Knight G1. Knight G1. Knight G1. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, he's, he's got good control of the king side here. And um, a pawn is a pawn. Good control of the whole position here. I well, at the moment, I can see the clock times on the roof cam, the ceiling cam. If nobody tall gets in the way, <laughs> at the moment, white has 4 minutes and 17 seconds, and black has 2 minutes and 47 seconds. Okay. And by the way, Gary, it looks like you owe me some money. <laughs> in the first game. We're doing, we're doing a better round, aren't we? I mean, it's very hard to bet against Black because she's had an amazing tournament. You're very good at quick play, very good under pressure. But Nigel's had a very good opening here. And, um, well, after Knight G1, I think it's... Wow. Okay, I'm not sure what Black can play. That's quite a safe move, Knight G1. So what else? Queen, Queen G4, Queen E6? Queen G4. Okay, Queen G4 has been played. Mm -hmm. Queen G4 has been played. Um, I mean, I can always go Bishop G3 here and try to just, you know, consolidate something here. Is that good? Um, not sure. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. I'll be honest. <laughs> Better to be honest. Just, just, just take yep. it. Yeah. Knight F3. Knight F3. Okay, the knight's gone from C3 to E2 to G1 to F3. <laughs> and um, it's. Well, where's it going next? <laughs> A8, I think it's heading towards A8. Okay, well, I guess if you have a mass exchange on E5, it's a simple position to play. So if you could take on E5 twice, get rid of the strong knight on D7 as well. Um, well, I mean, and the moves are going to come very quick now, but I, 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 think, I think Nigel's got the edge here. I, I really think Nigel's going to win this first game. Sure, sure. I mean, it, unless he play, makes an unbelievable blunder here. And, Queen um, H3, she's Queen H3. Sure. Okay, and now there are obviously tactics like knight g5 to contend with. Hmm. I mean, knight g5 looks like... Queen um, takes rook checks quite... Mate, actually. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess she had that covered. <laughs> Time to have another swig. <laughs> yeah. No, okay, so that's covered, so... There's only six billion people listening, so... <laughs> six billion? Is that all? Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> so, Queen, but it's a quick game, Stuart. Know, I've been here all week. Okay. You know, so it's, okay, it's, tough. it's good, it's good, it's good. Uh, Queen h3... Queen F2. Queen F2, solid. Um, well, I, I think the trick should run out here. Um, this queen has got to stay defending the, the knight as mm. well. Black's running out of moves. Okay, take, take. Okay, this is coming quick and fast. It's a, it's a pawn up. Safe pawn up. A safe pawn up with a good position. Winning good position, pawn structure, winning yeah. position, simple. Looks like Nigel's going to take the first game. Sure. Do you reckon Ho will be able to fight back in the second game? I mean, she has well, the white pieces. I mean, I'd it? like her to well, play better than this game. Let's say, you know, have a bit of a... I, th I think she's had a bad opening fight. here. The opening's I think gone she's wrong. Had a, yeah, very bad opening. She's hardly had a look in, to be honest. No. Uh, good opening choice to Nigel. Okay, so some more, more moves are coming very quick. Knight h4. And there are maybe some tricks on f8 at some stage. Rook f7. Okay, so if rook h6. Let's just uh, see if this is potentially... Maybe knight f5 or something. Just simply knight f5, and we take on d6, and ah, it's game over. I mean, unless there's a horrible blunder from Nigel here, um, I think after knight h4, this game is going in Nigel's favour. Um, well, he's, he, he's played a very smooth game, though, mm. to give all credit to Nigel. Yeah. I mean, his game today against Sasha Kieran with the black pieces. Which Playing the Bononi. Yeah. Pretty phenomenal, with black beating Sasha Kieran as, yes. as a result. Yeah. I mean, do you see Mamadiros game against Ho as well? I mean, this is unbelievable. Really, really interesting game. Rook G5. Rook G5, okay. So, trying to hold it together. It is blitz chess, so anything is possible. Sure. 
any result is still possible. I mean, rook f7 is well, then knight e5, so the knight is come. Yeah, oh, then rook f8. So rook f7, look, oh, knight, knight f5. f5. Knight f5 is being played. Training d6. And rook h4. Oh dear. Rook h4 is a. Rook g8 has to be played, I think. It's played. Okay, okay, sure, yeah. And now, is there some. Uh, am I going to fall for another knight mate in one here? Knight, knight takes d6. d6. Okay, knight e5. <sighs> is rook h4 a move? Rook f8, is rook f8 a move? They're all moves. Okay, so keep it simple. Two pawns. Two pawn advantage for Nigel. Uh, you have to take this knight off. Rook takes. Rook g2, queen f6. This is a point. And now queen f6 is coming. Sure. And Nigel can liquidate with rook f8 if he needs to. It's all over. Um, it's all over. Yeah, it's all over. Rook g6. Rook g6. Okay. I mean, it, it has to be a massive blunder to lose this game. Mm. I mean, the second game is going to be a real... Oh, it's going to be so exciting, the second game now. Uh, <sighs> rook f8, I guess. Yep, rook played, rook been played. Okay. Okay. Of course, Nigel lost to Mickey in the final of the British Championship this yeah. year, this summer. Yeah. Rook takes check. Okay. Rook takes, and now um, I think it's checkmate here, isn't it? Somewhere. Rook takes, queen f6 check. And then rook g1, for example. And then, and then just simply rook g1. Okay. Yeah, liquidate. That's got to be uh, one. It's been played, rook g1. And I think they're going to shake hands soon. Have we got the lip? Will he have a sip of water here? Yeah. Well done, Nigel. It was up. And, uh, oh, there comes the water, as predicted. Or the vodka. I'm not sure. Probably water. Okay, well, disappointing nice game from, from who you're from. I think I she mean, got very, very bad yeah. opening. I mean, if we look, we look at the opening moves, I mean, I noticed uh, Bishop B5 was recommended by Gwen Jones originally, who's now a very strong British player. And I think Knight C6 is the same move Topolov played. And Topolov right. lost to, um, I think it was Karyakin at Wake and Z. And um, this Knight to C6, I, just, I, I think it's just a bad move. Hmm. I mean, after you take and go D3, I think, I think White's just clearly better here. So I think you have to play. I think after Bishop B5, I think you have to play. The main line, just for those who'd like to buy the DVD, is um, after Bishop here, I think you have to go Bishop D7, which it won't allow me to play for some reason. Okay, but the main move is something like Bishop D7, and then you go Bishop C4, and you're trying to prove the Bishop on D7 is bad. I think Knight to C6 is the same move Topoloff played. Hmm. And the funny thing about this, Topoloff uh, lost with this Knight C6 quite recently, but also his um, second, Cheperinov, yeah. uh, played Luke Machine at the same tournament we, we played. Oh, in, in the yeah. European teams. So. And this is after D3, the big clamp. And after this happened, it was uh, quite interesting because uh, it didn't seem like. Um, it also seemed like Black had no idea what to play in this kind of setup. So I think this is a very good choice of opening. Okay, Black had a very bad position. Nigel that played very well. That was the match well. when my opponent's mobile phone went off. That, yeah, that was very interesting. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was uh, I was rested Delta. that day. Mm. And it's quite a funny story actually. We, we, we played the European and Serbia Champions team yes. championships, and um, you were playing Del Delchev. Delchev, yeah. Delchev, and hi, hi, Mickey. So uh, hey, good hold today, by the way, Mickey. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> nice. So and. Um, it was it was a very good hold by um, Mickey today. Uh, Michael Adams has just joined us in the in the commentary room. Very good hold in his last two games. So well done. I mean, it's uh, well, it's, yeah, tough though, tough. Yeah. So, uh, but good. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, what, did you see the first game? Yeah, I saw the first game. I think. Uh, Do you want to sit down, Mickey? No, yeah. Come with me. Yeah. Should we? Yeah, sure. We can we can make room. Yeah. So. Okay, so we're joined by Mickey Adams now. So very honoured, I think, to have Mickey here. So. Have you had a glass of wine yet, Mickey? Uh, no, that's why I came. Okay, no, right, so I think we should get some glass of wines ordered here, possibly if we can. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 No, no, I saw the first game. I think uh, it's quite difficult because you play ten games, you know, seven-hour time limit, and you come, you have ten minutes on the clock. Yeah. And I think who you found just wasn't uh, maybe not ready. Up, just you know, she was not. Yeah. You have to be, you know, ready in the instant yeah. the game starts. You don't have. Yeah. like a normal game some time to settle in and mm. it looked like she was sort of caught cold and 
thinking a lot, not yeah. playing great moves at the start. I think she had some opportunities, actually. I don't think it was oh, really? so. Maybe oh, right, looked okay, like yeah, some yeah. things that m- might have gone through in the middle with that tactical okay. exchange where, where he played F takes E5. I'm not sure if that was oh, right, around correct. Here, F takes it, yeah. I mean, I mean um, someone mentioned Bishop H4. Uh, Bishop H4, no, yeah. I wasn't was sure about that. But it, or maybe okay. also Bishop takes E4, another possibility. Yeah. I mean, um, so, you know, yeah. I'm not sure it was all, but, but Nigel seemed to be playing quicker, more aggressive, and, you know, often yeah, yeah. that works well in Blitz. It seemed like his flow was a lot better in that game, I guess. So he, he just, yeah. he, he was kind of flowing. And yeah, he's more experienced, probably more used yeah. to this kind of situation. I mean, look at Bishop H4 there to sort of be conquered. Yeah. He seems to be a very strong move. It, it, it probably just, I mean, I can't play the moves on the board, unfortunately, on this one, yeah. but uh, so we have to chat for it without me playing Looks the moves like with Bishop H4. Maybe, uh, yeah, I mean, well, I wasn't, yeah. I mean, did, G1, did Bishop G6, so I mean, it's... Uh, yeah. So I don't think. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I'll bring I mean, that actually, position. your knight h6 was was maybe stronger. Mm. Than, than yeah, uh, it, it, uh, I suppose just to avoid the capture on uh, f uh, f5 is it looks kind of sensible. But uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I was watching Nigel on the big screen. And I was wondering. Oh. I mean, he didn't oh. he didn't look very happy. He d- it wasn't very yeah. obvious whether he saw this bishop h4 right. or not. But uh, so maybe the critical position in this game was after f takes e5, and now if. Um, uh, Black could play Bishop H4 in this position. Maybe, maybe Black can, f- maybe Black's okay here after even piece Bishop. Uh, well, a piece yeah, up so it's quite well useful. It's not, it's not the <laughs> yeah, end of yeah, the game, so but uh, yeah, yeah well, it's it kind of looks. Like I don't a think move, it was yeah. fully intended. Let's say. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think if he'd seen this, he he probably wouldn't be drinking his bottle of water. I mean, uh, this is the other thing. No, then no, you, uh, no, Bishop H4, he might have needed the vodka, yeah. Mm. Yeah, vodka, yeah, vodka <laughs> might came in yeah, with the black pieces. So what do you reckon, if you're a, a gambling man, Mickey, in the second game, um, one game to go, do, do you reckon uh, um, you fan can fight back here? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I'm not sure when they will start, but there's probably not a lot of time, so it just depends if she can... Uh, yeah if she can get uh, adjusted to the situation uh, and play in her usual style. I mean, she's a very aggressive player, yeah. I mean, and normally should be sharp play, so I don't think there's any reason she can't if she can just, you know, get into it and, and play a good game, then, you know, you always yeah. have chances. Must win situation with White is never that bad, I mean. No, no, Particularly yeah. with this time limit, yeah. it's not... Uh, you have to go for it. Yeah, 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 yeah I mean, you have it, to. But I, I, know, I know her problem, it's not so easy in the playoff, I mean... When yeah. I played the playoff, I played a really lousy game the first game. Right, just, yeah. just not back over here, wasn't it, Mickey? No, no, it was against Gustafsson, the first oh, game. Oh, the first one, yes. First yeah. game, and it just completely crushed. No play, yeah. just totally not... Uh, How many years ago was this, Mickey? Was it, um, uh, I remember watching this with Malcolm Payne at the chess centre. So uh, yeah, it would have been 2010. Two, two years, okay, mm. right, so... Yeah, yeah very yeah. interesting. And um, 